Today we are diving deep into the world of TikTok Spark Ads. I'm gonna be showing you how to set them up, why you should consider using them, and how to unleash the power of TikTok Spark Ads for your brand. Now, I've actually had the opportunity to work with TikTok Spark Ads both on the influencer side of things and on the brand side of things. So I bring a unique perspective on how TikTok Spark Ads work and how they can really be a win-win situation for both the influencer and the brand um, when it comes to making more money, getting more views, more engagement, uh, different things like that. So if you don't know what TikTok Spark Ads are, don't worry, I'm gonna be talking talking about that in this video. And if you don't know how to use them or set them up, don't worry, we're gonna be talking about how to set them up and strategies and tools that you can use to get more engagement, more views, and the best possible results with TikTok Spark Ads. But before we do jump in, I do want to thank TikTok for sponsoring this video today and for supporting the channel. Now let's jump into the video. So the first thing that I do want to quickly cover in case you aren't familiar is what are TikTok Spark Ads? So TikTok Spark Ads are a native ad format that allows brands and creators to create campaigns that leverage their organic posts from their own TikTok account account or use organic posts made by other creators with their permission. And I'll show you how to get their permission in this video. But you can see this is an example of what a Spark ad looks like. Now, there are four big reasons why I really like TikTok Spark ads. The first reason being that the Spark ad looks super native to the platform. This does not look like an ad. If you look at it, you can see it looks just like something that you would see inside of TikTok. The only thing that indicates that it is an ad is you have this little sponsor thing down here, uh, kind of by the comments. But besides that, everything else looks super native. When you are running a TikTok Spark ad, if you're running it from your own profile, the logo will be your own profile and your, your account can go through and get followers and engagement and comments. If you're running it for an influencer, this will actually be look like it's coming directly from their profile. And that is very powerful because then you as a brand can promote and expand the reach of an influencer who is talking about your product. Now, the reason why influencers like this is because it's a win-win situation because when you go through and Spark ad one of their organic posts, this little follow button, people can actually go through and follow their account like like and engage just like they would on an organic post. And those views go on the organic post. And this is of course good for you because then it gives your brand more reach and more recognition as well. One of the third reasons why I really like TikTok Spark ads is because you can test the ad creative organically first, then run it as a Spark ad. This, uh, this strategy allows you to test creative very cheap before you actually go through and spend thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions of dollars on a specific creative. And let me show you what I mean. So if we come over here to this example, let's take my account for instance. So let's say that we were gonna run some ads out of Zoco Marketing as a business. You can see I posted three videos here. One got 16,000 views, one got 3,000 views, and one got 26,000 views. Now let's say that we were talking about a product and all these videos were trying to promote that one product. Now, after looking at organic data of these three videos, which one do you think would be the best to run as a Spark ad? Well, the answer is pretty simple. It's the one that gets the most views because that means it performed well organically. People were engaging with it. People were watching it all the way through. So TikTok promoted it out more. I wouldn't wanna go through and spend a ton of money on this 3,000 one. Testing the 16,000 view one might be worth doing, but if I wanted to really make sure that the creative was the best one possible, I would go with the 26,000 view. Now, another example, is if you are hiring influencers. Let's say you go through and hire three influencers and you get these three organic results. You can see this is for like a curtain opener thing. And let's say you hire these three influencers and you have them talk about your automatic curtain opener. One of them gets 2.3 million views, one gets 15,000 and one gets 8,000. Which one do you think you are going to take and run as a Spark ad? Well, the answer is simple. You're probably gonna take the one that got over a million views because it clearly performed really well organically. So now you can just go through and put more budget behind it and get more sales, more engagement, more views on this product. And then you don't even have to worry about running this one as an ad if you don't want to. So it's a very fast way to test which creative is working in a very organic way before you put ad spend behind it. Now, the fourth reason why I love TikTok Spark ads is because they are incredibly easy to set up. I'll walk you through the whole process. There's a few things you need to set up first before we do begin. So let's jump into that. So here are the four things that you're gonna need set up before starting to run Spark ads. The first one is a TikTok ad account. This is different from your TikTok profile where you're posting the videos. A TikTok ad account actually lets you allows you to run the Spark ads. If you don't already have a TikTok ads account set up, check out the link down below. There's a link that will take you exactly where you need to go to set up your TikTok ad account. Once you have that set up, you will need to have a TikTok profile. You're actually going through and posting the videos. It is recommended that you have a TikTok business account. Now, for those who aren't familiar, there is a TikTok personal account and a TikTok business account. The business account allows you to do a lot of different things, including pull existing content from your TikTok business account to the ads manager automatically. And then all public and ad enabled private posts will be available to make Spark ads, which is really nice. And now, if you aren't sure if you have a TikTok business account or a TikTok personal account, if you're inside of your TikTok account, there's an easy way to tell. First, if you click on the three lines in the top right hand corner, you can see if you have a business suite option when you open this up, chances are you are in on a TikTok business account. But if you wanted to double check as well, what you can do is go here to the settings and privacy and then go to the account.
account. And then right here, you can see mine says switch to a personal account. If you wanted to switch from a personal account to a business account, this is how you can go through and do that. Click that button right there and it will switch you. Now, if you aren't sure what the difference between a personal account and a business account is, I'll have a video coming out soon that will talk through the, those options. So depending on when you're watching this video it may or may not be out yet, but check the description down below if you want to learn more about what the difference between a business account and a personal account is. You can still run Spark ads with a personal account, but it is recommended to have the business one. Once you have your TikTok ads account and your TikTok business account, then what you can do is link the two. That's the third thing you need to go through and do. And in order to do that, all you need to do is come to your TikTok ads manager. If you click in this right hand corner on the user settings here, this will take you to a page that allows you to quickly link your account. So you can see here, mine's already linked, but you'll see here something that says TikTok account and then link account. If you click on that, you can then go through and link your TikTok ads account. And the fourth thing you may need before you start running TikTok Spark ads is the ad authorization code from the influencer if you are using an influencer. And I will show you how to get that ad authorization code in just a little bit. But now that we have all of these things set up, I do want to go over how to run a Spark ad if you're running it from your own TikTok profile and then how to run a Spark ad if you are using an influencer. Okay, so when it comes to setting up a Spark ad, all of the settings and the things that you can do with a normal ad are in play. And what I mean by that is you can choose any ad objective. You can do all the same targeting that you would with a normal ad. That's the beauty of the Spark ad is it looks super organic, but you can be still be very targeted just like in other campaigns. So I'm not going to spend a ton of time going over these campaign and ad group settings because I have lots of other videos that cover that. You can check out that on the top right hand corner. There's videos or link down below in the description. I'm going to move on more to the ad section where you actually go through and set up the Spark ad just for the purpose of of this video. So we're just going to go through and choose the traffic objective. And we're not going to get any of these settings, as I mentioned, because I've already covered those in other videos. And we're just going to scroll past this. Like I said, you can customize the targeting or do automatic, whatever you wanted for the Spark ad. We're going to hit next here. And then once we get to the actual ad level, this is where we can actually go through and build Spark ads. So you can see here, use TikTok account to deliver Spark ads. This is where you're going to want to go through and turn this on. If you're using a normal ad, this is where you just go and upload it and then go through like the normal motion. But here we're going to turn this on. What that's going to do is it's going to give us two different options. It's going to ask us to either use our own account to run as TikTok Spark ad or use an authorized account or post. So you can see because we went through and followed this step right here where we set up the business account and set up our ad account, business account and link the two. When we go into the TikTok ads manager, you can see it already pulled up our account here. And then what we can do is simply grab this right here and then select a TikTok post. And we can literally choose any of the videos that have been uploaded in our account and run them as a TikTok Spark ad just with one click. So as you can imagine, uh, setting up ads, once you have your account, linked, you can go through and run as many ads as you want, test as many different creative in a very rapid fashion. And that's why I really like TikTok Spark ads. Now, once you've gone through and chosen the post that you want to use for your Spark ad, you can go through and customize the call to action if you wanted to do that or leave it dynamic. You can go, so you can go through and edit it and do like a standard one and uh, click into any of those. I typically like to leave this dot dynamic and then you can add interactive add-ons if you want to. I typically don't. And then this is where you can control the URL. You can either send them to a website or a TikTok instant page. And, and that's the beauty of the Spark ad is the, the post looks super organic, but then at the end of the day, you can send people to wherever you wanted to. So for this example, we could just send people to shop.zoco.marketing. And then once they go through and click this button right here, it will take them to that link. These two boxes, I do want to call out real quick. So by checking this box, you confirm that you have the right to use the music in this ad for commercial purposes. So this is something that trips people, a lot of people up. If you are hiring influencers and having them do videos for you, be sure that they are using commercial sounds. Same with the ones inside of your account. If you're using a business account, you don't have the option to use anything that couldn't be used for a commercial sound, so you're covered. But if you are hiring out influencers, be sure that they use the commercial sound library when they're creating those posts so that you can check this box and say that you have the authority to use that music in your ad. Once that's done, then you can go through and there's some optional tracking things and submit and then you're good to go. If you did want to run this as an influencer or if you were using an ad authorization code, that's where you would come back over to this spot right here. And instead of clicking use your own account, you would click on use authorized account or post. And this is where it's going to ask you to get the ad authorization code. This is the thing that allows you to get permission from the influencer so that random brands just aren't taking videos that don't belong to them and running them as ads, you need to get an ad authorization code. So let me pull up my phone and show you how an influencer goes and gets that and what that looks like. Okay. And in order to get the ad authorization code, the first thing the influencer needs to do is go over to the three little dots over here and hit creator tools. And then they'll want to double check that the ad settings right here is turned on. Once they've confirmed that that is on, what they need to do is go to the video that they need to spark at that you need the authorization code for, go through and find that video. We can take this one, for instance, click on the three little dots, scroll over 
over and then you're going to find the thing that says here add settings once you click on that you can see you're going to want to go through and hit the add authorization and then from here you can go through and give the brand authorization to run this as an ad for 7 30 60 or 365 days we're just going to do seven because this is just a uh, test example you can hit authorize from there you can go through and extend the code if you wanted to and then here you will want to disclose the video content if you were hired to do this and then this just was an organic post and then you can also have the option to only show this video as an ad most of the time that's not you're not going to want to go through and do that so then we can go through and hit save here and what it's going to do is generate a code for you then you hit generate code and then the video code is pending and then hit save and then now we have an ad authorization code and then we can go through and hit this manage right here and then it's you can see it says copy code we copy the code and then we can send that over to the brand and then what the brand can go through and do is right here inside the account they can go through and go into the the ads manager right here on this spot click on add authorization post you can see we can go through and copy that code in there uh, it looks like a long string of letters just like this and then hit search and then you can see here is my video you can see it's showing up from my specific profile and it looks like a very organic post and then you can go through and hit confirm and now you can run this as a spark ad you can go through and change the url to whatever you wanted it to be now one question that i often get when it comes to running spark ads and one of the challenges is how do i go through and find influencers tiktok has actually come out with quite a bit of resources to go through and find influencers one of them being the tiktok marketplace so if you are a brand looking for creators you can go through and uh, get an account to the tiktok marketplace you will need to enter like some business information and things like that it allows you to go through and find creators in your niche based on engagement and other metrics and is a great way to find influencers to run things like spark ads and not only spark ads but just like get more organic content for your brand as well so i'd encourage you to check that out i'll leave a link to it down below um, in case you are interested in that but that's everything that i got for you hopefully you found this video helpful and now you are ready to start running spark ads for your own account if you found this video helpful don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and we'll see you in the next one